this. This is Music King with Byron Cook. One more before we go, because I know we're running out of time, but um, I, I, I love this. The, 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 I guess the bravery in putting a song out like Candles in the Sun, which you were nominated for a VMA for. Um, we'll, just, we'll just play it here. We, we talk about your influences as, a, as an artist. And there's a, there's a particular artist that this really reminded me of, at least, as, as a music geek. Okay? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And you, could, you might take a guess. Is there a guy? Is he watching? Is she watching? I mean, firstly, if you just want to, I know it's a very deep song, but if you want to kind of cover off on, on, on the broad lyrical message of that song, because it's, it's, a, it's a heavy song dealing with he- heavy themes, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, I, I feel like I, I didn't get too deep. I, I was, the whole thing was I, I didn't want it to feel like I was preaching, you know. I, 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 I don't like when people are pre- sure. preaching to me are too, too like, you know, self-righteous. Because the truth is, the whole premise of the song is is it revolves around our ability to ignore things. You know what I'm saying? That was the reason why I wanted I felt the need to do it is because I ignore it all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, well, we I, all do, I man. Get, I mean you know, yeah. Some we, more than others, but you know. Yeah. I mean we just we we have lives that we're living and we have these distractions that come with life. But the truth of the matter is that most of these problems that I'm kind of just highlighting have been problems we've had for decades, yeah. if not centuries, if yeah. not ever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And most likely they will always be here, unfortunately. Yeah. But but I just felt the need to at least highlight it and, and, and sometimes that's what we need is, is to have it right in front of our faces to acknowledge it. Because you know, when it's in a song you know, when it's on the news, you just change the channel. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's on, you know, it's a billboard you'll pass by it and you just ignore it. But something about music for me makes me pay attention more and so I, I just figured there mu- there must be someone out there who's just like me and maybe I could just, you know, at least give them some food for thought, you know, just to, to pay attention, you know? Yeah, and, and, and it shines a light on something in the context of all this other stuff that you're also singing about. And the, the dude that it reminded me most of is Prince. Crazy. Because, like, he obviously could put out songs, you know, with all sorts of f- fun lyrics. Then this one, it, I don't know why, it's not, it's not that musically it's the same, right. but it reminded me of the same vibe of this track. Hurricane and it ripped the ceiling off a church and killed everyone inside. You turn on the Are you feeling that? The story is telling you I didn't even think of that. This is like the pinnacle of his whole. Yeah, now he was. He even put this out as a single. I think he even got some airplay for this somehow. Um, it's June. I'm talking just about even, crack, man. He's. This is at the. This is at the point in our history, especially in America, where crack cocaine was really, really taking its toll. You know what I'm saying? He's crazy. He's, he's highlighting some real heavy stuff there. And that's sign of the times, obviously. Yep. And and yep. that and, album is incredible social commentary yeah you know yeah. um do you feel artists are responsible for social commentary or do you feel it's something you can kind of decide you, you, you don't you, you've got no beef with someone that just puts out a record and, and doesn't and doesn't deal with it it's it's um, artistic choice right i mean i mean absolutely i think um you know there's a time and place for everything you know yeah the truth is is like everyone has to be honest uh in their own artistry so yeah. you know if it if if you hear something come out of someone's mouth where you're like, you don't really care about this, then it's not going to, you know, it's, we're not, people aren't stupid. You can smell it, can't you, if it's, yeah, if it's yeah, not quite yeah, yeah, right. So. Um, having said that, um, and we won't do it on camera, I saw some twerking before. You are. <laughs> that man can twerk. I mean, no. wow. Not at all. Wow, no, he doesn't, obviously. Never. No, ever, ever. <laughs> we put a ban on the word, all right? Hey, so good to have you in Australia. Kaleidoscope Dreams. Anyone watching this that doesn't have the record, get the record, because it's just this journey. It is literally the the, the, the Kaleidoscope Dream. Thanks, man. It is what it says it is, and yeah. it's it's an adventure for everyone who, who listens to it. So congratulations Super on the cool, album. Super cool, man. I appreciate Thanks, the Thanks, Miguel. Man. Yeah, indeed. Thank you so much, man. My, Super cool. My first music gig. Yeah, this was my very first music gig. There we go. Super ill. This is Music Gig with Byron Cook.